East of Eden Grove, Creedmoor here. Hey folks, this morning I got out here early because I had to accept the chip load and locate it for a new company. So I'm really happy about that. But I wanted to take a look at my blackberries. I was kind of afraid that I might not get a few this year, but apparently that's not going to happen. While I did lose some budding to the freeze that we had, it looks like I might get a couple. I don't know. We'll see. There might be a couple left. Maybe. It's hard to say at this point. You know, I mean, sometimes it's tricky growing in Eden. Sometimes you gotta, you know, work it a little bit and before you right, see some results that you would expect. Um, but I think like a lot of y'all folks, we are experiencing some moisture issues. Seems like maybe the globe is just tilted on its side a little more than normal and our plants are not getting the moisture that they expect or anticipate. And that weird late freeze, we actually had a pair of them, seemed to put a lot of stuff into distress. And I'm down below my vineyard, so I'm gonna keep that separate from this little shot. Just showing y'all that life prevails you know we're flowering again there might be like you know one or two blackberries forming i i, I don't know can y'all tell it's hard when you're holding the camera to see if you know what you're seeing is actually what you should be believing but definitely one of our favorite fruits one of our favorite crops is blackberry but if you look around you can see this isn't protected you know, my pond is right there, the vineyard's here. There's nothing protecting this. So some would call this bait. I'm gonna try and get it before they do this year. What do y'all do to keep the deer away? I've always just used a little bit of blood meal around the perimeter of my gardens, but this guy right here is right on my edge. So uh, go ahead and let me know in the comments. Good suggestions, definitely. I'll take them all. Live well, be well.